So we always see new and interesting things at Basel. I already saw this a little bit last year, but I didn't pay too much attention. But this year we want to know a bit more about it. So this is Reservoir with a very original way of reading time. Pretty simple, pretty efficient. Tell us more about it. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, it's a, it's a new development. So we started last year and we are inspired by vintage meters, gauges, anything that uh, reads uh, or given information in a car, in dashboards, in cockpits, in planes, uh, anything that again gives you information. Main difference between uh, watches and meters, meters you have one hand only, going from a zero position to a max position. Watches, two hands, 360. So we said, no, we want to do meter-like watches, so they will work like a meter, so they will have one hand only, which is a retrograde minute. We'll add the jumping hour in a mileage counter style, and then what is very cool, is fuel gauges, right? Yeah. Fuel gauges is very cool, like in, in Type E dashboard, because you have one hand on the back of, of the, the main dial. And we, we developed this, this, uh, this uh, power reserve of, uh, with a fuel gauge uh, uh, look and feel. And the, the combination of these three complications in a very reasonable price make it a very cool concept. And you can, uh, you know, have a lot of variation cars, planes, motorbikes, submarines, scuba diving, factory uh, steam gauges, anything that has a one hand, it's almost infinite. It's always based on the same uh, movement and the same um, um, development. Exactly. So what we have is to develop this module that allow allows this three complication, coupled with an ETA movement, and that's our core engine today uh, on which we develop our collections. C going forward, we are developing a GMT complication, extremely cool, because it could be a double jumping hours with a GMT, or it could be a retrograde uh, hour plus a jumping hour uh, for the GMT. And we're also developing chronograph, but not using hands, using uh, sectors or using disk in, in windows. Uh, that's very cool. So we have a lot of stuff uh, going forward. And you were mentioning uh, rather reasonable prices. What are we talking about? My target initially when I started this project is to find an affordable, uh, uh, innovative concept. Price of watches are, are going, have been going sky high for the last uh, decades for reasons that we, we know, for some other reasons, whatever, it's very expensive. So I bought watches 15 years ago, now they cost twice the price, it's the same watches. So it, it doesn't make a lot of sense. To me, it was to start with a price below the 4,000 euro, at all retail price, tax included, and with the complication we have, with the finishing we have, you know, it's a, it's a sapphire glass, it's a 50 meter uh, water resistant, all of that combined at that price was a challenge, but it was fun to make it happen. Great, well it's a cool product and uh, good luck for the future. Thank you very much, thank you, bye bye.